This is P and we're back with another unboxing video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. That way you can stay up to date with all the latest unboxing and unpackaging videos. So this is a Jordan that was released January the 28th, 2017. As you can see in the title and the description, and this actually sold out online and from the videos and different things I've saw, um, this sold out in a lot of stores. So it may actually be gone for retail price. Um, so, yeah, and it, it, was, it was sort of limited because it didn't make it to all retailers. It wasn't available at all retailers. So I ordered this from Nike. Check it out. Black box. Gold information on the bottom. And the box is crisp. Just a little bin right here. Gold jump man. 23 on the side. So it's just standard box. Um, for the Jordans, nothing special about it. Just black with the gold. And this retail for 190. And this is the Air Jordan 8 Retro. And the colorway title is Take Flight. So the Air Jordan 8 Take Flight. Some call it the Sequoia. Just because of the olive green. And this is my first time seeing it in person, in hand. Um, and one other thing about this shoe. It was originally released, the 8, back in 1992, 1993. So this is a retro new colorway. And as you can see, you got the Sequoia, the Max Orange, and the Black. Oh, and one other thing. I, I'm calling this shoe the G.I. Joe 8 just for fun, just because it, it's going to have that olive militant colorway to it. And I can't wait to see you in person. So this is live. Let's check it out. Flip the top open. You got the eggshell paper with the 23 everywhere. Oh, Scott. These actually look real good in person. Super clean. Super crisp. Militant. The olive colorway is what's been popping. Um, it's what's been popping as in popular. Um, in the last year, 2016. This is the medial side. And this is my second Jordan 8. Check out my previous video that I uploaded last week of the Jordan 8 um, Gold Trophy, Championship Trophy from 2016. And I may do a comparison uh, review these side by side but this is street to me the number one thing that sets the eight apart is going to be the crisscross straps for support of the 23 right there i think it should have been orange on the 23 too just to give it a give it more pop of that orange but if you take a look at the bottom, you have the orange, that militant color with the olives, and the black, jump man and the light olive right there, up to the top. And for this particular uh, shoe, as you can see, I went with a size 10. You got this, the laces is like an olive also, so that's unique. And who knows, you may do a lace swap. I just thought about with an orange flat lace. That might pop pretty hard. Tell me what you think in the comments below. So you have the black with the design right here. And the strap in black. I may flip these sneakers. I don't know. I sort of may, I may keep them in the stash for a while. This color is sort of unique. And it's the first eight for 2000, 
and 17. And you have the cushion up here on the tongue. Plush. Sticking out. The orange jump man. And brought it in between it. So you definitely want to spray something on this material to keep it um, protected. Otherwise, it shouldn't be hard to clean because there's no white. Oh, and the inside of the footbed is orange with the jump man. Let's see if we can get footage of that. See it a little bit. You got the pull tab in the back. Extra cushion with the sock liner that was um, used in the Jordan 7. They incorporated with the 8. And these sneakers look good if you want to have them sort of loose. This is a factory stock lace. Dead stock. New. In hand. So I'm sort of glad I pulled out this jacket. It's a nautical jacket. It's sort of big. It's sort of thick. But I think it goes perfect. With the shoes and the whole thing. We have the American Eagle camo fatigue in the back. So it should be easy to match up. You definitely you can go with black jeans. This is a fall and winter shoe to me. So you can definitely go with the black jeans, um, black joggers. If it is still warm outside in your area or early fall, you can go with the black shorts. Black cargo shorts, of course, the fatigue gear, tan khaki pants, orange shirt, t-shirt, orange wife beater, orange tank top. This is street. It sort of sort of gives gives you that uptown, up top New York feel, just with this colorway to me. And I used to think that the eights looked heavy and bulky, but actually it's sort of lightweight. So on a scale of one to 10, I have to give this sneaker a 9.1. 10 years from now, I don't know, but right now, shoe is definitely on point. I just wish they had a did the 23 in orange. And like I said, imagine it with the orange flat laces. Just something to set your sneaker apart from the other ones. But the olives look good. The olive laces. This is on point. Maybe they could have did this design in orange too. Maybe some of you uh, guys that have custom work done to your sneakers can have that done or do it yourself. But other than that... Nice sneaker. I'm glad I was able to cop. If you got it, I'm glad for you too. And once again, this is P. Like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'll definitely appreciate it. And until next time, be on the lookout for more unboxing and unpackaging videos from P, which is I, which is me. Peace.